One of South Australia's COVID vaccine mandates is about to disappear, with almost 70 unvaccinated police officers set to return to work on Monday. The move, just days before the mandates are challenged in court, could pave the way for changes elsewhere in the public service. Behind health and aged care workers, police were among the first government employees required to be vaccinated. But from Monday, around 60 unvaccinated officers and 20 support staff can return to the ranks. Those police employees which are furloughed, prevented from coming into police workplace settings because they are unvaccinated, will be able to return to the workplace. They'll have to take daily rapid antigen tests and wear masks all shift. Unvaccinated officers won't be allowed in aged care homes or venues requiring vaccination, but they can go to hospitals because the rules for attending healthcare settings are also being relaxed. Visitors to healthcare settings are no longer required to be vaccinated, but they must wear PPE. The decision comes days ahead of a Supreme Court challenge of the vaccine mandates brought on by people in the education and healthcare sectors, including sidelined Crows AFLW player Denny Van Hagen. This probably does provide evidence of the fact that we are constantly reviewing these, these directions and adjusting them in accordance with the prevailing circumstances. With the police commissioner openly considering giving up the emergency powers under which vaccine rules are imposed, anti-mandate campaigners say other government agencies should immediately drop their requirements. There's not really any reason at the moment to keep these vaccine mandates in existence. They're going to disappear in three or four weeks' time and they're not serving any real purpose anymore.